There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge. Hello everyone and welcome. This is Bahamut from Xtrades and today I'm going to go over a simple stock screener that is going to help us find some quality day trade tickers. Now we're going to use Finviz and it's going to be a screener that mainly focuses on relative volume. Um, just a disclaimer, this is not financial advice or investment advice and trading stocks comes with inherent risk. So to start, we're going on the Finviz website. This is the main page. Uh, we're going to go to the screener setting and we're going to go to charts just because it's easier to see <clears throat> and we're going to go to all up here to that would select all of these three um, selections the descriptive fundamental and technical aspects to find these tickers and we're going to start with the market cap. Now, personally, I trade small, uh, small, small cap stocks. So personally, I trade small cap stocks. So I'm going to go to the small option, which is under two billion market cap. So anything that has a 2 billion market cap or below is what is going to help narrow down this selection. Now my second filter I'm going to do is the performance. And we're just going to select in general today up because we just want the stock to have to, to be in the green today. We want it to be positive. Now I'm doing this at 12.18 p.m., and this is on Wednesday. So by now, the market has already been open for a couple of hours, and that will affect a few of my selections here, and I'll, I'll, I'll get into that in a second. And next selection I'm going to do is the price. Now, because I mainly trade small caps, you're not going to see too many stock prices have a higher price than around ten dollars so I'm I usually do ten dollars or under and that will help narrow this down even further right now we're up to 101 pages so but it'll get down to only a couple now we will move on to the volume selectors now personally I like doing an average volume of over 50k and it's a very small amount of volume but I find a lot of tickers their volume is drying up and you it may only get 50k maybe 100k per day on average and we'll get into the relative volume stage now because this is what's going to help really narrow this list down I'm going to go relative volume over five and this is mainly because right now it's past noon. So it's it's almost midday th through the trading day. So if this was maybe um, at the bell or maybe like 30 minutes or to an hour after the bell, I would probably only do a relative volume of two or three because there wouldn't be enough trading time currently. But right now we're already a couple hours in, so I want something that has a lot of volume and so that's why I'm going to go with over five right now. This is the only one. This is the only selector that would probably change throughout this list. It would it would go from five to maybe two or three. The rest of this is probably going to stay around the same. Uh, we're going to select change and just do up because once again we just want the stock to be positive at the moment. We don't want to have high relative volume and to be down on the day. And then we're going to go to industry and just select stocks only 
just to narrow down. We don't want any ETFs or REITs or anything else. Now we're going to go to float. I wouldn't go too crazy with float. I just do under 50 million. It's, 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 it's kind of hard to find some stocks that have very, very small float. It'll narrow the list down to only a few options and it might be too late to even trade them. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with under 50 mil. And we're current volume. I'm going to go with over 100,000. Now, normally I only do about two relative volume, which is the standard. So the 100K simply doubles the 50K average volume. And it just helps it solidify the, the relative volume. So I'm not going to change that right now. And here we have a list of only two pages, which is pretty decent. If you can get it down to one page where you can narrow down your choices, that's great too. So this is just a general list. We're going to start with just looking at the charts in general and seeing what seeing what pops out and what, what draws the attention. Now, uh, BANL is something I traded yesterday and sold today and then re-entered already. It has a, has a strong sell-off and it has just a nice accumulation down here. And we saw yesterday um, it had a pretty strong candle and then today it continued. So that's why I re-entered. And now we're going to go to the chart just to show you. Let's go to Ben O. Okay. So Ben L, you see how it had a strong sell-off here. And it's been slowly declining, but it has been accumulating here and forming a nice base. Today we're actually above the 50 um, exponential moving average. And it looks like soon we'll get a cross of the 5 and 50 EMA. And there are no gaps as this ended at 125 and this is 126. So there's no gaps to fill and there's two strong candles in a row. So I'm looking for this to become possibly like a three white soldiers pattern forming. And it seems like the next resistance would be around, around the 170 area. So if it can break through there, then we know this, this stock is going to be very strong. Now, I skipped over ATXI just because I don't usually trade stocks that are around 20 cents like this one. And it has a lot of gap downs. It's, it's very, it looks like a very volatile ticker. I'm looking for more of just nice patterns that can continue and have and strong results. Now, the next one is BTDR. And BTDR. Daily pattern. Looks like a nice ascending triangle to me. I'll just draw that out real quick. So for this one, I'll, I will put it on. I'm going to put, be putting this one on watch. And I'm going to watch to see if it breaks through just a general resistance right here around $4. And you can see the volume is really ticking up in recent weeks. And a lot of these could be day trades. Some of them are probably going to be swing trades, like BTDR would be a swing trade once it breaks the $4 mark. Okay, and now let's move on to GVP. GVP had a very strong candle yesterday, very high relative volume. And today we see the volume is almost at yesterday's. Forming a nice, forming a nice doji candle, and it's just sitting above the 50 exponential moving average. So we know that this is some pr pretty decent support still. 
So I'll watch to see if it closes above this 50 uh, EMA level and how strong this candle closes to. Um, next up would be HLP. I don't like this chart just looking at uh, on Finviz. It just looks like there's, this looks like more of a distribution rather than rather than a flag. It looks like a flag at first, but to me it looks like distribution. I'll, it'll be, it'll be kept on watch to see if it breaks above this 100 exponential moving average right here, this uh, pinkish line, because it is still holding above the 50, and it touched the 5 today, so it could play out, but it wouldn't be my, my top watch. Uh, LIFW, that's something I traded yesterday due to its high relative volume. Today we see the volume is about half of yesterday's, um, showing some resistance at the 50 EMA. So this is something I wouldn't touch at the moment because it's likely to keep bouncing off that 50 line and likely get rejected. So if it goes above that, then that's definitely something that will be put on watch. Next up is MNPR. So you can see today this has extremely high relative volume. Found support at the 50. Um, huge gap up. So to me, this would be something where I'm going to watch to see if tomorrow's candle is going to be an inside candle and likely form a flagging pattern. It'll probably, tomorrow's candle will probably be around there. And then the next one will probably be a little bit lower. And I will all see if this can continue catching support at this 50 EMA. And then we'll see if it can break out of a flagging pattern. So that will be put on watch. Next up is Pixie. Pixie, we day traded this yesterday. And it lost all of its gains and it came back up today. So relative volume is about the same as it was yesterday. And currently the price is below the five exponential moving average, which is not a great sign. It looks like it's, it looks like, see how all these candles are closing below it. They keep spiking above it and falling back below. You can see yesterday's candle came way above it, even above the eight exponential moving average and closed below. So for now, this will be put on watch. And if it can close above the five, then we know it's strong because it hasn't closed above the five in several weeks, about a month now. So we know we know that's that's a, a crucial point for this stock. Uh, next one will be PSTV. PSTV today had a cross of the five EMA through the eight and the thirteen EMA, and now it's finding support at the twenty EMA. So that's a good sign. And there's no gap. And today's volume is about three quarters of the way there to yesterday, with only half the trading uh, trading day gone. So that's a pretty good sign. This is definitely gonna be put on watch. Um, it's slowly approaching closer and closer to the 50 from each spike it had beforehand. So. That will be the crucial level to see if it can break above there, especially if it closes above this 20 EMA. Uh, next up is SIEN. This is not something I would trade only because today's candle is an inside candle and it looks very weak and it's the volume is very low compared to yesterday, but it's still very high relative volume, but it's selling off. Both candles were a big sell off, big gap downs. So this is something I would avoid. 
Next up is THRD. So THRD, another one, another big sell-off candle, inverted hammer, and looks like it has some resistance right near that 50 EMA as well. Even though the whole chart is pretty strong, ever since it's gapped down back in last year, it's been pretty strong since then. So it, it could be put on watch as a nice swing in the future, but I wouldn't be looking to enter just yet. Not until it regains the 50 EMA and continues this process. And then we have TRKA. TRKA, once again, not much volume compared to yesterday, but still pretty high relative volume. Some resistance at the 50 EMA, so not something I would trade just yet until it can continue closing above the 5 and at least closing near the 50 EMA, not showing too much resistance there and getting constantly rejected there. And then on the, sec on the second page, we only have one. It's ZVSA. ZVSA. Higher volume, higher volume than yesterday. And the candle is uh, forming higher highs. And, lo and higher lows in yesterday too. So that's a positive sign. You got higher volume and you have higher highs and higher lows. And it's currently finding rejection at the 13 EMA. So this is something I'd probably keep on watch for now. I wouldn't jump into it as, as a day trade, but it'd be something that I'd be put on watch and clear resistance near the 50. Well, I hope you enjoyed this simple video about a relative volume stock screener. And please subscribe to the Xtrades YouTube channel and our Discord. Have fun and good luck trading. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.